So what we did in that last video was we made a black circle flash on and off the screen. We can control, we can control how many times we flashed it on and off the screen with this number of repeats variable. And we also found that we could change the radius of that stimulus. We could set it to 200 or we could make this 10 so it's going to be quite small now. And so let's have a look here. We'll run the demo. We won't run it for 15 times, we'll, we'll run it for five times. So now it's going to be on and off for five times, quite small. Let's just play around with accessing some of these uh, parameters. We'll make it back up to 200 so we can definitely see what's going on there. But let's see if we can circ stim dot line color equals, let's make it uh, red. And let's see if we can change it into a red stimulus. Ah, it seems to have worked, hasn't it? We've got a red line on the outside, but it hasn't changed the inside color. Why is that? What's going on? And it's also throwing up some of these warnings. It's saying, hey, look, I haven't been able to uh, get the timing of the last frame, or it's outside standard deviation. We'll get into that. So remember, we've only changed the line color. We didn't change the fill color. If we make the fill color up here, we set it, the fill color to the same as the background, for instance, <clears throat> we should essentially just get, in this case, a red circle of 200 pixels. So you see now we can just place circles on the screen or if we set the, the fill color, we can change the fill color as well. So let's make that uh, minus one again. We want to make it all black, not minus 10. Minus one, minus one. Line color, minus one. We don't want to change the line color. What we want to do now is we will make it go from large to small. So this is how we can do it, is we know we've got 30 times it's going to stay large for, and then it's going to break out of this loop and go 30 times at the small. So it should go large to small, large to small, large to small. Let's see. What have I done wrong? It says invalid syntax. Line color. Oh, I didn't open the brackets there. Large, small, large, small, large, small, large, small, large, small. Okay. So we can now, in this case, change the radius. We've seen how we can access this parameter here. We can change the line color. We can change the fill color of the stimulus. We can make this go for, say, 15 times. So it should go large for 15 and then small for 30. And so it should stay large, small, sorry, it should stay small for twice as long as it went large because now we're doing it for double the amount of time. We'll run it, uh, say, uh, 10 times. Large, small, large, small, large, small, large, small, large, small, okay? Do we see that? So now we can control how much time is spent in the small and how much time is spent in the large or how much time to spend off. So if we set that to zero, remember, zero radius, no stimulus. So now it's going to be off for twice as long as the stimulus is on for. I'll just do it 10 times again. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got these warnings again, not to worry. So have a play around yourself, see if you can change the stimuli, the radius or the color. Uh, also see if you can change how long it's played for. Put in another nested loop. If you want to do something else. I've written pass here, which means it's just going to pass over it. Have a shot. What we're going to do next is we're going to now think about how we present the stimuli and control the timing of the stimuli. We're going to look at what numbers we put in here. This will be the frame numbers. We'll get into that in the next movie video. I'll leave it there.